What not to do if you've got tinnitus? The first thing is fear. If you stew in fear, you're going to keep your cascade of stress hormones going, which is what's going to keep your hearing stuck in that activated, alerted state, which keeps tinnitus going in the first place. So if you go online and you look at fearful stories, or if you believe practitioners who are telling you there's nothing you can do, then this is likely to keep you stuck in a fearful loop where your adrenaline levels are up, so you hear the tinnitus, and hearing the tinnitus, you freak out, and freaking out makes you more sensitive, and then you get stuck in this loop of reactivity. So we need to cut through this fearful thinking. You need to be very careful of what you're exposing your mind to, and if you're sitting and stewing in fear or anxiety, you need to get help. Body-based therapy to bring your inner anxiety levels down. And I really encourage you to learn about tinnitus and to find out how it works. Because once you get your head around it, then it's much less threatening. It is primarily a stress response in the auditory system. Even if it's loud no noise exposure, <laughs> loud nose exposure, even if it's um, due to surgery, it doesn't matter what the cause is of tinnitus, you can still let go of tinnitus. But what keeps it afloat is primarily fear and anxiety and stress. The other things that really cause your adrenals to stay high and to stay in a high state of re reactivity is tiredness, exhaustion. When we are overdoing things and we get a bit burnt out, we end up running on adrenaline, we become very driven, over accelerated, and that whole hyper state is very good for keeping tinnitus afloat. So overstimulation and excitement. You know, some people really like turning life up loud and burning the candle at both ends and drinking and partying and skiing 10 hours a day and going bananas. I mean, this is going to be extremely arousing and overstimulating for your nervous system, which in turn keeps you stuck in that red alert state, that hypersensitized state, which keeps tinnitus going. And that includes too much change, um, changing country, changing jobs, changing house, changing relationships. You know, we, we all really quite like routine and feeling a sense of well-being and safety um, involves having our life in a place where we can just settle into an everyday kind of rhythm. So too much change can be very stimulating for tinnitus. Some dietary things to throw into the pot is uh, many people with tinnitus experience salt and sugar to be activating for tinnitus. And I'm not suggesting suddenly cutting them out completely overnight. That's stressful for the sy system. But generally having a, a low dose of salt is very good for your health anyway. Um, and sugar is dreadful. I mean, it causes your adrenals to go up. It's highly addictive. It damages the way we met metabolize minerals in the, in the bones. It's really quite horrific stuff, sugar, but we're all addicted, myself included. Very good business. So yeah, really, you don't want to watch horror films. You don't want to hang out with needy, clingy people. You don't want to believe the kind of health practitioners that say there's nothing you can do about it and you're going to stay stuck with this forever. I mean, really, if you come across that messaging, please be very, very careful because if people knew what they were doing when they were dropping these bombshells on people and the devastating consequences of their few words on a whole person's life, they would not do this because it deeply disturbing and inappropriate and damaging. So please be careful of people who are dropping bombshells of negativity. 
Um, what they're really doing is just advertising the fact that they haven't a clue how to help you and they really should stop saying that. Here I go again on another rant. So um, overexcitement, fear, anxiety, the, the most important thing is the mindset. You can change masses of things in people. I'm a therapist, a psychotherapist, but the hardest thing is to change are mindsets. They're like the, the great Himalayan mountains when you try and change people's mindsets. If you look at your mindset and if you're telling yourself, this is never going to go, or I'll never get better, or um, Johnny Appleseed jumped off a cliff and that's what's going to happen to me, you know, this, this is actually probably the most powerful activating thing in your system. So please be looking at your minds, look at the messages you're telling yourself about tinnitus. And you could stop going down that road to doom and gloom, death and destruction, and pull back out and go down a different route, which is one of calming, soothing, settling, deactivating, de-stressing, dropping into well-being, I'm doing this with my hands because it's coming down into a body-based experience of well-being. You feel it in your body. I'm not talking about an idea here. This is experiencing calm, peace, safety inside the body. The more this happens, the more the alarm bells stop ringing, literally. 